Welcome back to an inside look at Southeastern football with Mike Lucas. Let's take a look at the first half highlights against Texas A&M Commerce this past Saturday. Everyone was fired up to have a home football game. We had a great crowd out at the tailgating area. We got to do our lion walk, which has become a great tradition for us. Our kids really look forward to it. And uh, everybody's out there cooking. You can smell the burgers and the sausage and there's uh, you know, children running around. And uh, our guys were really pumped up for the ball game to have a home opener, really fired up before the game. We had the uh, handshake this week, the AFCA handshake we had to do before the game. We, uh, we won the coin toss and actually chose to receive the ball, wanted to get our offense on the field first. And uh, Brian started out with a hot hand. They were uh, blitzing us quite a bit, trying to get pressure on Brian. So we did a lot uh, of our quick passing game. There's a, a catch by Corey Theodore. Our offensive line did a good job of protection. Tried to run the ball a little more, but they were really ganging up in the box. So we had to do a lot of our swing pass stuff. This is one to uh, Simi Yarborough, trying to get outside. And uh, Jeff Turner booms a field goal. That thing might have been good from 65 yards. He really hit that first one. Had a great crowd, very exciting time for us. We jump out of that first drive, three zip. Commerce came out trying to throw the football. Uh, wanted to get as much pressure on the quarterback as we can. Had a big sack there. Here's a shovel pass to our tailback. Again, great protection for Brian. Brian gets to launch the ball down the field, just overthrows Chris Wilson. Big play here by uh, redshirt freshman Tremaine Lucas on the bootleg. We worked very hard on the bootleg. We'd seen them done, see them do last week, and uh, good job by Coach Lacey getting the guys coached up to handle that boot. Here they are throwing the ball out of their end zone. We uh, had a little misalignment here by our half safety, Curtis Strong. Should have aligned wider off the hash mark. Gave them a big play. It was a third down play. We could have pinned them down. Big tackle there by Avery Crooks. Avery played very, very well. Brian shows some feet here, gets the ball out, avoids the sack. Simi had his biggest day as a lion as far as catches and yards. Big tackle here. They also call a, a crackback block on this. Screen pass to Tootie, Andre Cryer. Makes a nice run after the catch. Moving the ball down the field. Again, a quick slant against their blitz coverages. Nice catch by Corey Theodore. Brian got rid of the ball very quickly. This is a very nice job of picking up the blitz by our offensive line. We got man coverage downfield. The touchdown to Simi. Very nice job by our offensive line and running backs picking up the blitz. They really brought the house on that play. Up 10 to zip, second quarter. Good pressure on the quarterback, got him to scramble. Nice play by cornerback Robert Alford. Free safety, Rakeem Wilson comes over to get a big hit. Here's another quick slant against the blitz coverage to Merrick Lano. Merrick does a nice job running with the ball after the catch. It's a big play for us. Little double move here. Again, Corey Theodore. Our offensive line, good job on the twists up front. And then the slant to Simi for his second touchdown catch of the night. Had to get rid of the ball quickly with all the pressure they were bringing. Seventeen to zip right before the half. Big hit there by Kendrick Jackson. A nice interception by C.J. Doronsole. Nice run after the catch. We get the ball down in the green zone. And then Jeff has a chance to make a field goal and just hit the upright square. Need to make those points there going in at the half after the interception. We need to make those points. The Lions lead 17 to nothing at the end of the first half. Let's take a look at the second half highlights. 
In the second half coming out, we know the most important drive of the game is always the second half. We felt like we had to come out and be very physical in that first defensive drive. You can see our defense swarm into the ball right there. They gave us a little different formation with a double tight end set. Nice tackle by Kendrick Jackson. Thought that ball popped out, the official called it down. We didn't get the ball back. Again, good job of protection, nice throw and catch. That was a big first down play that was third and we had to get it across the, uh, the yard line there and Simi made a nice powerful run. Shows he's been in the weight room. Good job by uh, Brian getting the ball out again against the Blitz. Had to make a throw off his back foot, got it to Andre Cryer. Here we are with a screen pass to Jasper Ducksworth. Again, we had to do everything we could against their blitz. They played a lot of man coverage, brought a lot of pressure. Nice play here by Rakeem Wilson. Nice call by Coach Matt Webb on the screen pass. Caught a little man-to-man -man coverage there against the screen. We fake a screen of our own and throw the ball down into the end zone and get called pass interference against A&M Commerce. Keeps the drive alive. And then uh, kick a short field goal by Jeff Turner. Jeff had two field goals on the night. Nice play by the defense. They were trying the, you know, the air raid mesh routes underneath. And uh, here is the big pump block by Zach Alvin. This is really a turning point in the ball game. We need to be able to scoop that thing up and score. Instead, the offense comes on and uh, Zeke Jones runs it in for a touchdown after the block punt. Big play by the defense, by the special teams, and the offense punching it in puts us up 27 zip. Nice play on the uh, option there by Quentin Foster. We get make a big hit there, cause the quarterback to fumble the ball and Quinton Foster on the fumble recovery. Again, setting the offense up in great field position to punch it in. And this time Jasper Ducksworth on the touchdown run. Diving over the top. 34 to zip in the fourth quarter. We gave up a long run here on a, on a busted assignment defensively. There, the fullback hit him in a bad place, hit him right in the hands. Then we have good coverage downfield on the third down play, and the quarterback scrambles it in. We were really hoping to get a, uh, a shutout there in the fourth quarter. We haven't had a shutout at Southeastern in a long time. Nice throw there by Brian, again to Simi. Another catch by Simi and a nice run after the catch, being physical, running the football. Touchdown catch to Chris Wilson. We like throwing the fade to Chris. They actually jumped off sides. This wasn't the play that was called. We have an automatic if the defense jumps off sides and you get a free play to throw it up in the end zone and uh, turn into a touchdown for us. So the Lions take care of the other Lions from Texas A&M Commerce, 41 to seven. We're gonna get coaches' comments in just a moment. Well, let's hear what two Lion players had to say after this contest. I mean, we watched film all week, all week, and we knew what they was gonna do, and we were just prepared for it. You know, Coach Condell did a pretty good job of calling the plays, looking at the defense, and we just executed. Uh, it was good. You know, we came out there, threw the ball around a little bit. You know, uh, protection was great. You know, it's just like we talked about all along. Those, these receivers we got, we got to give them the ball in space, and we did that tonight. And you know, we, you know, we just made some big plays. We just heard from Simi Arborough and Brian Badman, two guys that had big nights, uh, and both of those comments were fitting for the ball game. Well, it was a total team victory. You know, we our offensive line played well with all the blitzes they had to pick up. Our running backs ran hard. Uh, Brian threw the ball well. Our receivers did well catching the ball and running after the catch. Uh, special teams did very, very well. You know, we blocked the punt. We have a, a big hit on a couple of kickoffs. And, uh, you know, defensively, we just ran to the ball. We made some big plays all night long. You know, I think they only crossed the 50-yard line like three times all night. So it was a total team victory.